No one wants to see I-94 shut down near 13 Mile and Little Mac. That probably would mess up my day if we can't drive 94 because I use it a lot. I travel all over and 94 is one of my main routes. But it's a real concern if something isn't done about the erosion creeping closer to the freeway, as highlighted by this look from the Fox 2 drone. And our situation that we consider to be an emergency is that this bank is completely eroding here. Things are moving fast, according to the Macomb County Public Works Commissioner. I mean, every day it's two feet, four feet, it's all shelving off here. But so is a plan to fix it. A contractor has already been hired and knows how to attack this problem. We're going to excavate along where I'm standing here, backfill this embankment, and then we will armor it up with something that we call riprap, which is larger boulders sort of like a puzzle, you puzzle it in. A problem that was found just in time. The old drainage pipes failed and the ground around the pipes is being ripped away. We're proactive, we're inspecting everything. It's amazing what you can find if you go look. Yeah. Don't wait till something happens, okay? The estimated cost to repair a roughly four mile stretch of erosion on I-94, about $200,000 in that work, that'll start as soon as possible. I actually have cobbled together uh, some uh, drain funds from a number of different drains uh, and uh, we're going to put them all together to fix this. And uh, there may be some criticism of that, but quite frankly, I don't care. Miller says that's a lot cheaper than fixing a freeway, which would be in the millions, not to mention other costs that go uncalculated. I mean, this is a main artery, yeah. you know what I mean? So if this is jacked up, then, you know, people are going to be suffering. In Roseville, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News.